What's going on guys? The Build Fighters versions of the Burning Gundam continue here with the new Metaverse Shin Burning Gundam, the kind of evolution of the Kamiki Burning Gundam, I guess. Uh, the Kamiki Burning Gundam, I have to say, a design that I was not really that big of a fan of until I painted it. I did do a custom paint job on that kit as a gift for my wife. I think it came out pretty good. It was a very unique kind of paint scheme. Uh, anyway, not to get too far off the point, but the Shin Burning Gundam here is definitely the next step in the evolution of the line just in the overall design. And there's also some really cool gimmicks in here, especially with the clear parts. And we'll take a look at that kind of as certainly a focal point of this review. So let's go ahead and get into it here for today's video. All right, let's first check out this very striking box art here. You can see a lot of familiar elements of the Kamiki Burning Gundam there from these parts for the legs around on the skirt, the torso. So I'm wondering exactly how many runners from that kit are gonna be reused in here, but we are gonna see some new parts included as well, like these parts for the backpack, all these new effect parts like I'm talking about. The kanji up there on the shoulders, in case you guys were wondering for your reference, it means flame god. So yeah, very on point there for this particular design, I think. But here is the Shin Burning Gundam there on the side. You can see this is number four in the lineup. And here on the bottom of the box, you can see some of the included effect parts. We have new effect parts there for the feet and for the hand, for the wings in there as well. So we're going to have a lot of really cool new effect parts here. You can see how the wings fold up around the design, very similar to the Master Gundam. So it's kind of interesting how it's combining elements of like the God Gundam and Master Gundam into one single design here. Would be kind of cool to maybe paint this in like a Master Gundam style color scheme, I think could be very interesting. And then here's about those clear parts being a specific point of this kit as those are polarized resin used for the clear parts. And this is going to alter the color appearance depending on the light and your viewing angle. So basically kind of depending on how you're looking at those parts, it's going to reflect kind of differently. Sounds pretty interesting. We'll see how those look on the kit in just a moment. But here on the other side, just a look front and back of the fully built and painted kit there. It does look quite cool. I have to say a little bit about the metaverse story right there. And with that, we can open up the box and we're not met immediately by those clear parts. A little bit of a packing fail there not to have this box packed like this. But anyway, those clear parts definitely, I mean, you can certainly see even before I get them out of the wrapper, you can see that kind of iridescent shine on there. So pretty cool. Let's check out the instruction manual here first. And in typical build fighters, build divers, now metaverse styling, we have the box art at the top. On the bottom, we have information about the Gundam and the pilot here. In this case, it's Sekai Kamiki. So again, a familiar character, but there you have some information in Japanese and in English. And for the Gundam, there is the official illustration there. Pretty cool. And the information about the Gundam is in English as well. Around here on the back side, we don't have any other further kind of like photos or information. It's just the end of the construction. So that means we're going to have a pretty packed uh, manual here. We do have the color guide, which is right there at the bottom. On the inside here is our parts list. And then, yeah, from there, our first couple of pages is going to be construction in color. On the inside of the manual, on the black and white side, it's just going to be all the rest of the construction. So there's kind of a lot to go over, I guess. And at the start, there's another cool little bit there about the Gumpla Evolution Point, talking about the polarized resin used for that. So pretty cool. Let's check out the runners. But first, a quick look at our foil sticker sheet, which is pretty minimal. There you can see we have eye stickers, stickers for a couple of head cameras there, it looks like, the stickers for the shoulders, and then a few little black lining stickers, and that's really about it. So pretty easy. And then for the runners, we have polycaps here, PC002 in gray. And then runners A and B are also going to be in gray here. Runner A is actually from the Build Burning Gundam. Runner B is from the Kamiki Burning Gundam. So those are not going to be necessarily new runners. Runner C here in white is also from the Kamiki Burning Gundam, so a bunch of familiar parts on there. Runner D here in a very nice bright red is also from the Kamiki Burning Gundam there for all of those parts. And the same thing for runner E1 here in this nice navy blue color. Now, runner F is where it starts to get really interesting. This is another runner from the Kamiki Burning Gundam, but here you can see that polarized resin for the clear parts is not only used on the red kind of orange effect parts, but also on these blue parts as well. And you can see just how it's kind of catching the light and reflecting the light very interestingly. It essentially seems like the clear plastic is just injected with a kind of iridescent powder, probably something like that, inside the clear blue, so it's very cool looking. And even more dramatically noticeable here on these very large clear parts on runners G1 and G2 here, molded in a clear orange, but there you can see just how reflective these parts are with that polarized resin look to them. So very, very interesting. And those should look pretty cool on the built kit. 
Now the rest of our new parts are just going to be here, runners H1, H2, and I. And runner H1 is going to be some new parts here in gray, mostly for the backpack and the wings it looks like, and the same thing here for runner H2, some new parts here in red, including the new part for the additional shoulder piece there. And then lastly, runner I here is some new parts in yellow, and that's it for the kit, including this very ornamental looking V-fin. Gonna have to be very careful with that, but let's go ahead and get it put together and see how it looks. All right, here is the Gundam all built up. And one thing you'll notice right off the bat is that I did leave off one of the shoulder stickers is because I did want to point something out to you there with that. But I really enjoy the look of this kit. This is a design like with the Kamiki Burning Gundam before it, where looking at the artwork, the Gundam necessarily wasn't all that uh, appealing to me, but I really like the kit a lot more once I actually build it. So it's one that I would definitely highly recommend to you guys. And I think there's some really cool new aspects to this one as well, with the inclusion of the kind of Master Gundam-esque backpack, and of course all those cool clear parts which we'll be taking a look at. I think there's definitely a lot to like about this one. So if you've built maybe a couple of these kind of series, the build burning, the Kamiki burning, or maybe one or two of the previous series of this particular line of Gundams and you're wondering if you really want to get another one I would say that this one is definitely worth it it looks pretty awesome let's go ahead and check it out here so yeah as for the shoulder I basically just wanted to show that you guys it's not perfectly flat underneath the sticker so the sticker will of course cover that up but if you did want to paint this yourself like hand paint that in or add some other kind of detail or just paint it without that just to let you guys know you will have that circle in there so probably the easiest way to fill that in would just be with some putty it's gonna be a little bit kind of challenging to sand in there but just to let you guys know about that. Uh, okay, so now that's on there. Anyway, on to the rest of our accessories here. We've got a number of different leftover parts, a couple of which worth noting are these backpack parts here from a couple of the previous versions of the kit. So as you can see, we do have the clear part there for this version there as well. We also have this kind of backpack adapter piece in here, which again is just not really useful for this kit, but it might be useful to have if you're planning on doing some kit bashing or something. For our hand options, we've got these closed fists on there. We've also got a set of weapon holding hands a set of flat or karate chopping kind of style hands here, and then a set of open expressive hands, which all do look very nice. If you're wondering about that hole in the hand cover that's carried over from the previous releases, is it still going to be useful for this kit? It is with one of our effect parts here. We have this solid effect part, which is going to plug into that part on the fist, plugged in there like that. And then we've got our kind of punching effect part here which does look very cool. We've then also got this much larger effect part, which also does look very nice. This is gonna be for the foot, and we'll see this in action here in just a bit. Because this is much larger, it is two pieces put together, so you will have a seam down the middle of that. But I think the new added effect for the clear parts does kind of help to hide that seam a little bit. And it just kind of depends on the angle that you're looking at it and the lighting, but I think it's much less noticeable than it was before. For the backpack, when you're going to expand these parts out to make the cloak, it's gonna cover the body here we have a couple of parts that you'll need to use for that it's kind of like a parts forming gimmick there unfortunately and then we've got our effect parts that are going to be used for the cloak here as well which again that uh, added effect to the clear parts does look pretty cool i have to say and then lastly we've got its sword weapon here which the sword itself is just molded in white so definitely a little bit of masking and painting on that is going to help out quite a bit the actual sword sheath here is not too bad being in gray and then with a little bit of yellow there. This end part probably could do with some painting as well. And you are going to have a seam line down the middle of this part. As you can see, we have the attachment part kind of already connected onto here as this does attach up onto the top of the back skirt right there. Just click that into place and there is a specific position for this to be clicked onto like the center of that part and that's just there on the back now like that. That said, our last accessory here is going to be this alternative piece for the sword, which is just made up of a clear effect part. So again, I think masking that and painting the handle in white or gray or whatever, I think will also make this look that much better. I mean, it does look cool kind of just being entirely an effect part like that, but having the handle in a different color, I think will be nice. But again, it does look really quite interesting, I think. As for the kit itself, we've got stickers there for the eyes and the head camera on the front and a little teeny tiny one for the head camera there on the back. And then we've got stickers for the black lining around the shoulders and here at the top of the feet there as well. So not too bad in terms of stickers. All those details would be pretty easy to just paint in if you wanted to paint them instead. As far as the mold, everything, and the color separation on this kit, I think it does look pretty nice. We don't really have too much in the way of seam lines on this one, so it would be a pretty quick and easy kit to paint. I pointed out the seam line here on the uh, sword sheath part there. Is it a sword sheath or a scabbard? I'm not sure. Anyway, 
there on the back. You would also have a seam line here on this red part of the shoulder right there and there. Of course, it's going to be covered up a little bit by this clear blue part, which I will say the added effect here on the clear blue parts also does look very nice. It catches the light really nicely to give you a pretty cool effect there. These ones here on the side of the leg, I feel like do come out a little bit too easily. So just to be safe, you may want to put a little bit of glue on those and just glue those in just to make sure that they don't come out and get lost. And I've always felt the lack of ankle armor here does look a little bit odd. It does kind of look a little bit empty right here in this section. At the back, you can see this little part does move up and down there. But well, it does look a little bit empty, not having any ankle armor to cover that up right there. Overall, I think the look of the kit does look very nice and it's a very kind of minimal thing to worry too much about being down there. I think when the kit's posed up, uh, it still looks really nice. It's not something that's like a glaring aspect of the design that looks so really strange or anything, but articulation wise, it's all very good. And you guys will see it here posed up in just a second. Just to mention about the backpack, obviously, like I said, to get it fully cloaked around the body, we will have to use those couple of uh, like parts forming extension parts, but otherwise these parts do move back and forth up and down like that. So you can move these around pretty nicely when doing your posing. So let's go ahead and try that out. And as you guys will see, and as I mentioned earlier, this is one of the reasons why I love this kit is just, it's a really fun kit to pose. Over the years, since we've had a number of different kind of versions of this kit, it has its own kind of lineage. I think it's been really cool to see the evolution of this design kind of going from one to the next, how there's some parts that are carried over and then there's some new parts added kind of each step of the way. So it's been a very interesting series to kind of follow the evolution of this particular kit. And every step of the way, I think it's all been really nice. If I had to choose my favorite version, I think it'd be quite hard because there's definitely things that I like about every version. This one carries over a lot of really cool design aspects. Just the posability of it is absolutely fantastic. It's one of the best kits I feel like when it comes to posing, it does everything that you would want it to do. And the construction of it's really nice, not just from like a posing standpoint, but also just the color separation is all pretty good. Pretty much everything is represented there. You could definitely go in and paint maybe a couple little details here and there. Overall, it looks pretty great right out of the box without doing anything else to it. And those new, uh, like the new effect added to the effect parts certainly does make them pretty striking, pretty unique looking. That said, they are gonna be a little bit reliant on just kind of your lighting. So your display or wherever you have the kit displayed, you know, depending on how you have the lighting in the room or the lighting in the display case, it may change kind of how the effect parts look, which could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. But I think at the very least, as I was saying, about the evolution of the kit a moment ago, the clear parts have evolved as well. I think these clear parts definitely look better than the previous versions, now having this added effect to them, so it's cool to see. But definitely let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. Are you kind of sick of seeing different versions of this Gundam, or are you as happy as I am with this latest version? Let me know in the comment section if you guys wanna check out this kit for yourself or any of the other new releases from the Metaverse series, or just Gunpla in general, parts, tools, and supplies, and everything else. You can check the link in the video description to USA Gundam's store. As always, guys, thank you so much for all of your support and checking out the video here today. Liking the video, subscribing all helps out quite a lot. So thank you guys. Until next time, hope you all have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.